Welcome to the VB Toolbox. In this tutorial I am going to show you how to read data from a file using the uh, .NET Stream Reader. Um, first thing we'll do is go into create a new project. I'm going to select a Windows Forms application. And I'm just going to call this um, My Reader. Select OK. I'm going to go ahead and expand my form just a little bit here. And from our toolbox, the first thing we're going to want to do is uh, have a text box that we can read our data into from a file. So uh, I'm just going to grab one of these, draw it on the form, and I'm going to set that to multi-line so we can expand it. I'm going to stretch that out over the form. That'll do it. All right, next thing I'm going to need is a command button for loading a file. I set the text on that to just uh, load file. And I'm going to change the name to CM, oops, CMD um, load. position that a little bit. Uh, I'm going to name my text box uh, in my properties. I'm going to set that to txt output. And finally I am going to use a uh, open file dialog to browse for a file to open. So I'm going to uh, scroll down in my toolbox. If your toolbox is not visible, you can go to View and Toolbox. So let's select the Open File dialog. You can just double click that and it will add it to your project. And if you make sure that's selected, uh, we can change the properties of that. I'm going to change this to a little shorter name um, to do OFD. OFD Reader. That's a good one. And for the file name, I'm just going to set that to star.txt because we're just going to be uh, keeping this simple and reading from a text file. Next up, I'm going to set the filter to text files. And then if we put a bar in there, uh, we can specify the file type. That just makes it so you don't see every file on your operating system. Uh, it's kind of up to you. If you want to see everything, just leave that uh, as is. But I like to filter it down to just text files since that's kind of what we're targeting here. Um, all right. With that set up, we are ready to start coding. Um, first thing we need to do is set our load file button. Uh, what what we're going to do is make it so uh, when we click this button, it launches the reader and then we can select a file and then it will read the file into the box. So we'll double click on that and uh, in the click event we're going to set OFD Reader, that's our open file dialog, to show dialog. Alright, that makes it so our open file dialog pops up. Next up um, if we go back to our form, we can double click on our OFD reader. And what we're going to do is say if open file dialog reader dot file name is not blank, then let's create a variable uh, called SR for stream reader. Uh, actually, there's one important step we skipped here, so I'm going to come up here to the very top. I haven't set a reference to the system.io library, so what we'll do is we'll say imports system.io, and that will give us access to uh, file streams, uh, readers and writers, and things like that. So if we come back down to our variable that we're creating here, we can just say uh, dim sr as new um, stream reader 
and we're going to supply a path to our file and the path that we select is going to be from our open file dialog so we'll say ofdreader.filename alright so that creates a new stream reader and then what we're going to do is uh, loop through the lines uh, loop through the actually just uh, read through the lines of the file I've created a um, a basic file here. I'm going to be using this text file right here, myreader.txt, and it's got some text in there that I want to read into my application. So, what I will do is say do until we're going to create a loop and go through our stream reader until it hits the end of the stream and then it will terminate. So I'll say sr dot read line. So I'm going to go through this, uh, I'm sorry, <laughs> got ahead of myself there. Uh, do until sr end of stream. So this will loop until the uh, stream sees no more data in the file and then it will uh, stop looping. Now with each uh, cycle we're gonna say txt output dot text that uh, references our text box on our main form and we're going to copy it to itself but we're going to append the line that is read from the stream reader so we'll say txt output dot text ampersand that concatenates the text and we're going to say sr dot read line so every um, every character that exists in each line of our text file will be read and then we're going to add on uh, a line feed carriage return here so we'll say vbcrlf and that just drops it down a line when it hits the end so that's all we need to do now finally we always want to tidy up after ourselves and close the file so it's not uh, locked open in memory and other applications can no longer access it so we're going to say sr dot close and that closes um, the file after we're done getting the information we want out of it. And that's pretty much all there is to it. So let's go ahead and run this and uh, see how it works. And kick it off here, and we have a text box. We're going to load file. Should bring up your open file dialog. That's this guy, so we can browse our operating system for the file that we want. And here's our filter. Um, it's set to filter for text files. I'm going to go ahead and select myreader.txt and as soon as it's done that launches the file OK event and as you can see everything that was in that file has been written to my text box and then the file was closed. So that's really all there is uh, to reading from a file. Uh, of course uh, you're not limited to text files you can also use this for loading other sorts of data uh, byte data from images and things like that. It can get pretty complex uh, depending on the data types that you're using, but um, as far as reading text back, uh, it's, it's fairly simple. Uh, you could also use a string splitting to read uh, comma delimited text. Comma delimited information, you know, so you could break it out for each comma you could break it into a new line or, or parse that out however you wanted. So there's a number of applications for this. Uh, you can use it for reading back configuration files into your application or file uh, data that's been saved from another application and you can populate variables with the information you pull out of that file. So there's uh, just so much you can do with these. I hope that this has been a helpful tutorial. Um, like and subscribe if you will and uh, if you know anybody that this would be helpful to uh, for then